What's one of the key things to throwing really far? It's separation, but it's something that people do wrong all the time. And one of the things we're gonna talk about is a couple of quick tips and one drill to help you figure out and feel proper separation for big throws. Here we go, check it out. Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about separation. Now, many moons ago, I posted up a video that talked about separation. We just recently have done some camps and some private camps, and we're heading off to do our more, more of our preseason events where we're teaching the throwing chain reaction. One of the things that we're doing is we've done all these events, and we're seeing lots of athletes, and one of the most common things that we're really seeing is the understanding of separation. And one of the things we wanted to explain in this video is that the separation is what creates the sling. If you want any information on our drill bands, this is all kind of new content inside our system. We use these at our summer tour. The, the, the band is teaching you separation. Remember, in the discus, you have two types of se separation. You have the hips and the shoulder. And again, this is where the shoulders twist around the hips. If the shoulders and hips are moving together, you're going to run into problems. So a real simple tip that we're going to have you do is we're going to start with our feet and our hips already in the throwing direction. We're going to take an implement and we're going to wind back and we have to be conscious of where the chest is and we're gonna be throwing here. So we're gonna reverse the throw. And so what we're gonna do is be trying to feel that separation because separation at the finish when you're loading up and you're getting into our power position, again, we call that coming out, we have our pillar four and we have our five, six. So if we're in the shot, it's gonna be the same thing, rotational shot. We're gonna be here, we're gonna get our feet, knees, hips, everything facing into the direction of the throw. You're gonna notice my block foot's just a little bit closed and I'm gonna be able to get my hip through and push. In the discus, I'm gonna wind here, that should set the long path, and I'm gonna be pulling this way. So it's a real simple tip that you can do. Now, if you're a Arite Throws Nation online member, we go through this and we'll go through a whole progression on how this works and how to get more separation. But for a lot of you, you're not understanding what our terminology is entirely. Hopefully from our YouTube videos, you are learning the throw and our six pillars are helping you as well. And the idea here is to give you a tip and a simple tip to help you feel that separation. So you just wind back. So you basically pre-finishing the hips, wind the upper body back, and so you're gonna be able to feel how to put a little muscle into your lower body. Your lower body's ahead. It's gonna force you to get your upper body back and to be able to come through. Super simple tip to start making sure that you're understanding the proper feeling of separation. And a lot of athletes have this problem where they're moving the upper body too much. And so by reversing it and putting our hips already into the direction of throw and coming back here, this is a simple way to just kind of help you feel that slingy motion. You're not gonna throw super far because there's not a lot of motion involved, but you wanna feel a stretch in the elongation and lengthening the radius, right? The distance of the implement from you. Not have the implement down here, but have the implement up here and slapping out or having the hip through so you can feel a better push and you feel your block side better engaged and you're feeling this versus feeling where the upper body is opening too much too soon, right? The upper body does open, but it has to open in the right path. All right, guys, so hopefully you found that video helpful. It is a lovely winter day here in Arizona. The sun is setting. We're having a good time. Hopefully your training's going well, and we will see you on the next video. And I try to turn it on with this technique. And so I literally go back to my traditional normal technique two days beforehand. Then I throw a pre-fontaine, 